Suppose we have again a parallel plate capacitor. Uh, we have two different kinds of dielectric materials in between the plates, but this time uh, the plates are not uh, sandwiched between uh, the plates, but the dielectrics are side by side, and half of the uh, region is with K1, and the other half, uh, the right half, is K2. And suppose uh, the total area of one of the plates is A, then a, a half of the area is has as K1 dielectric between the plates, and uh, other half has the K2 uh, uh, dielectric between the other half of the uh, plates. Uh, well, suppose the thickness of this <coughs> each dielectric is D, they are equal to each other, and we apply a potential difference between these two plates. When you look at this closely, uh, there is no harm to separate the upper and lower plates into two halves, okay, and they are connected by a wire, uh, because uh, since uh, the potential of, uh, let's say, the upper plate is kept at V, then dividing and connecting these halves into each other will not make any difference uh, of the potential which is uh, kept at V of this upper plate. If you divide, uh, separate uh, one big plate into two halves and connect these two plates by a wire, then in terms of the potential, the, there will be no difference. They will be still kept at the same potential with the initial configuration. And of course, the lower potential will be will be the same. The lower potential again uh, for both uh, separations will be the same because they are connected by a wire. But when you look at this configuration, which is equivalent to uh, this capacitor, is nothing but having uh, two capacitors, which are C1 and C2, which has the dielectric constants and uh, dielectrics uh, between the plates K1 and K2, which are parallel connected to each other. So we have, uh, instead of one big capacitor, which has an area of A, we have two different capacitors, which has half of the area of the previous one, and they are uh, uh, parallelly connected to each other. So of course, for this configuration, uh, the potential difference between the plates for each capacitor will be the same. V, right? And we know from the uh, uh, connection of uh, capacitors, uh, uh, parallelly conne connected capacitors, the equivalent capacitor is nothing but the capacitances of these each capacitors, C1 and C2, which, which are parallelly connected to each other. And of course, uh, it is very easy to uh, express these capacitances, C1 and C2, in terms of the uh, Dielectric constant, uh, the epsilon zero, uh, the surface area of the plates, and the distance, the thickness of the capacitor. The C1 is just K1 times epsilon zero A divided by 2 uh, divided by D. And similarly, the other one has the similar expression K2 epsilon zero A divided by A2 A divided by 2 half of A divided by D. So that the explicit expression for the uh, equivalent capacitance is nothing but epsilon 0 day divided by 2d and in parentheses the sum of their uh, the dielectric constants. Well, with this information you can easily figure out the uh, charges of these plates, okay? Uh, well, you separate these plates into half, they are at the, the same potential, but do they have the same charge? Right. Uh, of course, when you apply the relation between the charge, the capacitance, and the potential difference, you will notice that these charges, since they have a different uh, dielectrics in between the plates, will they have? They have. They will have uh, different charges. For example, the first capacitor will have a charge on one of the plates as C1 times the V, the uh, potential difference, and this is uh, nothing but. Uh, K1 epsilon 0 A divided by 2D times V 
and the charge on the other capacitor which has the directly constant k2 in between the plates will have k2 epsilon 0 a divided by 2d times v so these charge ratios will be nothing but uh, uh, if you express this ratio as q1 divided by q2 it will be nothing but uh, equal to the k1 divided by k2 if larger uh, the dielectric constant will have the uh, larger uh, charge on the plates so uh, so this is the uh, result and we can safely say even these plates are at the same potential and th this does not mean necessarily they will have the same charge in fact if they have different uh, materials in between the plates then they will always be have different uh, charges on the plates okay